Boy Devious one, you know the antidote to the game, you know. Yeah. And you know your boy Mo Maji all day. Mo Maji, what's up, you? baby? How you fellas doing, man? Doing good, man. Good. 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 Chill. Look, I see we all again having our nice little sips this evening. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Call it the get right yeah, juice. Man. That's the get right yeah. juice, huh? That's what's uh-huh. up. Hey, man, I wanted to get with you guys because I appreciate you guys, you know, coming down to the event we had, doing your thing, man. You guys were amazing. That's why you won. You know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't it was even a comparison to me. You guys sounded completely better than everybody else that was there. So y'all had my vote from the straight from the gate. You know what I mean? I had to convince the other guys that, yeah, you know I mean, what was popping and what wasn't. And, and, again, we appreciate you guys for coming out to that event. Hope to see you at the next event. Matter of fact, I gotta speak to the man SL five hundred. Shout out SL. Yeah, I mean, cause, uh, sure, yeah, sure. he uh, he really really showed out and showed up for us, man. Yeah, yeah, we got another function with him coming up too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will you? Which yeah. one is this? Which one? Uh, it's supposed to be the one uh, Super Bowl weekend. You know what? I think I'm supposed to. Matter of fact, I'm supposed to sponsor that one. Oh, see, see, that see? part right there. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to sponsor that. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you going to get it in, as usual. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think it's supposed to be two that night, as a matter of fact. It's one in L.A. and one in, in Dago. I believe yeah. that's how that's supposed to go down. I don't know how you're going to split Adams and make that happen, but we're going to be at the one in L.A., though. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so the first thing I'm going to ask you guys, man, is how'd you guys come together? You tell the story. Oh, the shit. You know, uh, we, you know, at the job, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Working and shit. He was on um, second shift. I was on first shift. We was the only two black dudes in the building. You know what I mean? Okay. So y'all like, vibed immediately. When he seen me, I, we caught eyes. We knew he was about to talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was like, oh, shit. What's up? He was like, hey, man, where they be balling at? Where they be balling? I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't really ball, my nigga, but you know yeah, what I'm I saying? Hope, I hope the crossover, yeah, crossover yeah, yeah. hurt your feelings. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But I was like, I just gave him a couple of little spots that I thought might have been, you know what I mean? Back right. in the day, spots popping and shit. And, yeah. You know what I mean? We started um, chopping it up and shit. And um, I had uh, a track that I was doing at the time and shit. And uh, I was telling him about it. Uh-huh. And um, I, I let him hear it and shit. And then uh, when I let him hear it, he heard the chorus. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then he switched it up. He was like, oh, you should say this at this part. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hard as fuck. Right, like, right. Yeah. right. Okay, I'm going to do that. Got to do the singing over, change the chorus and shit. And I was like, nigga, you get on this motherfucker. You need to get on this shit. You right. know what I'm saying? And that was, that was it right there. It was like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's the beginning of the good right thing. There. After that. We was lit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. See, that that connection, man, I'm probably sure you guys can finish each other's sentences in the rhyme sometimes because oh, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, that connection. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we have so many similarities. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. For you know real. what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, like, sir. It, 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 everybody up. always say it's, it's ridiculous. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. look, man, you know, I always talk to independent artists about what is it like to be independent. Speak to that. What is it like being independent artist, man? Well, I mean, of course, there's a good side and bad side. You know, right. I, I'll start with the good side. The the good side is you can do what you want. You know what I'm right. saying? You do what you want. You do what you feel. And the best part about that is when you do what you feel and the people feel it, 
You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? They they present you with stuff like these, like the little yeah. plaques. And, I see, I you know, see. You, you, you get nominated for music awards and shit like that. And when right. you do that, you know it's all you. You know it's okay. not the, the label right, or anything right, like right, that. Right. You know that was all your right, blood, right. sweat, and tears. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. That's, that, that's the, the benefit of it. Okay, yeah, you yeah. say it was, what's the bad part about it? You know what I mean? Well, you know, you don't have the budget. <laughs> you ain't got that budget, you know what yeah. I mean? You, know, <laughs> money. you don't got that pool, yeah. you know what I mean, in place, you know what I'm saying, that, right. you know what I mean, the motherfuckers can reach and shit. So, you know what I mean? For the most part, you got to do all the work. Yeah. That's, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's the downside. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, you're learning as yeah. you're doing that. Yeah. So right. it's, it's a good and bad, you know what I'm saying, situation. You put in more work, but you learn more. And, and you're more involved in your own shit. You know? gotcha. And the thing too gotcha. is, the thing too is, when 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 you're with a label or somebody like that, they already got the avenues open, so okay. you already into those doors without even knowing that you're in them doors. Well, okay. Right, when you independent, man, you gotta find them doors, man. And then kick gotcha. them the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Right, then right, you right. Kick them down, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's funny. You it's down, funny that you said that. Down. You know what I'm saying? It's funny you, you said down. that. Because I always say this, listen, you know, I've since I got into the music and to my, you know, doing my own food and all that stuff, when I first started, I said, I don't care what doors are open or closed to me. I'll build my own. I'll knock a wall down. If it ain't no wall there, I'll take a hammer and knock one in for myself and build my own stuff. Because, you know, again, it, being independent is hard. But like you guys, I believe that it's worth it because, again, when you do it and the hard work starts to show it's mm-hmm. it's like yo i did this by myself you know what i mean or yeah. i did it me and my crew did it we didn't have anybody giving us anything right. so right. we got right. how they say right. we got it from the mud yeah right. <laughs> right. another thing too is you know being independent you have to build relationships right you know and when when you're on a label the label builds the relationship. So if the label decide to drop you or move on from you, right. you probably don't even know half the people that put you in a position to be that you in. See, you know, when, gotcha. when, when you're independent, you know, you beat these streets. You know, like I tell people, I say, you know, my my, my footprint is over a lot of ground. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so you build these relationships and, you know, the, the right way to do it is when you move, you know, mm-hmm. the people that was really there for you, Right. You move with them too, you know, and, and, and that's right. the love, you know, that's, that's the true love of it though. Right. Crazy that you said that. Cause that's how me and SL hooked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I saw him at an yeah. event. I told him what was going on with me. He told me what was going on with him. Next thing I know, he's like, yo, you want to sponsor an event? I said, man, it is whatever. What you need me to yeah. do? Yeah. I mean, and that's how you're right. Building those relationships is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Man. It's a beautiful right. thing. And then you find out that they, 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 you guys are more similar than you than you probably would ever knew. I mean, you appreciate people that you know interview you. Right, you know, right, 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 right. 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 Yeah, you, know, you remember those folks. Right, right, right. right. exactly, right. exactly. So I'm gonna ask you guys, man, what advice would you give to somebody that's like, for example, I have a female that's that's been coming to me and she wants to become an artist. She, you know, she's asked me. She's She's starting to move towards wanting to come in the studio and start to record things of that nature. What advice would you give to any artist trying to get into this music business? Well, first thing I would say is do what you feel. You know what I'm saying? Do right. what you feel because if you feel it nine times out of ten, you know, there's a couple other people that, you know, probably feel the same way. Okay. You know, and, and, and that's more relatable than um, trying to be somebody else. Right. Gotcha. Right, gotcha. right, right. You know, just hit your craft hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? Stay on your craft. Practice your cadences. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? And right. know, know the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Know the game before you hop in it because you you about to get swallowed up into something, some shit. Because if you do blow like that, uh-huh. you, you you might, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fall into the rabbit hole and fuck around, take that red pill. <laughs> right, 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 right. You, you stuck red man. Pill, bro, It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna wake up like, where the fuck am I at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my eyes hurt. That's because you never <laughs> used them. <laughs> you know what I'm hey, the gotcha. one thing I would tell her too. The one thing I would tell her too is remember this: don't let a no stop you. There can be a thousand no's, but that one yes might change your life, though. 
Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so stay, stay hard at it. Stay hard you know, at stay it. Stay true to your Keep shit. Keep grinding. You do. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna have to write that shit down. That was kind of yeah, dope. Well, no, that was kind of dope. Yeah. yeah. I might have to steal yeah. that one. Yeah. I might have to steal that yeah. one. Hey, so yeah. tell me what you guys working on right now, man. What you guys got going on? Man, we got too much going on right yeah, now. We, shit yeah, right. we got too much going on. Um, our our second, uh, the volume two of Bicko is about to come out, you know, um, which is already done. We're filming a video next month. Okay. Um, you know, uh, album release party should be somewhere around March, you know. Gotcha. And, 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 you know, trying to straighten all that stuff out, but... Since we already pretty much wrapped that project up, we're already okay. working on volume three. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but yeah. for those that don't know, man, explain what Bicko means, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Breaking <laughs> case of emergency. You feel me? Yeah. Breaking case of emergency. You know what I mean? There's a yeah. lot of a lot of faulty shit going on in the game right now. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you got to break the glass and pull out the <laughs> extinguisher. You know what I'm right. saying? On that shit and put that shit out <laughs> and, and so you can see the truth. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So Bicko is is that. You know what I'm saying? Breaking case flames, of emergency. We flames I love on all that lame shit. You know what I mean? Right, we flames right. out on all that lame shit. You know what I mean? So, hey, I've heard the title track. I can't wait to hear the rest of it, man. Matter of fact, oh, yeah. of course, you know I'm going to mix that into the beginning. Somewhere yeah, somewhere so, along yeah. in this interview, you're definitely going to hear it play it because I really yeah. like the first one I got. I haven't had a chance to hear the rest of it, but I'm going to listen to the rest of it tonight. I don't know how much of it will be in here, but there's going to be some of it in the background in this joint. Oh, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, yeah. Now, real quick, man, let me ask y'all. So it's an independent situation. What has been the highest point and the lowest point of this journey for you guys? Well... That's a good question. I, I would say the highest, the the okay, the highest point of the journey mm -hmm. so far would be uh, randomly finding out that you're nominated for a, a San Diego Music Award. Okay, because we didn't know, you know, we didn't submit, we didn't do anything, and then we right. got a phone call, and it was like. And, and the thing about that was we was fresh off of feeling good about what we did. We wasn't even worried about the masses or anything. We were kind of right. about what we felt it, that we executed the plan that we wanted to execute. Right. Okay. Yeah, and then right. you know, we got the, yeah, randomly we got the phone call that, um, you know, your, your, your album was uh, – nominated for album of the year you know blessings blessings yeah, it's our first time out you know what i'm saying i ain't know yeah, nothing yeah. about i ain't know nothing about none of that you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. i mean that was a that was a um a moment that was a surprise and took us on a high like right right back, right you know what I'm right saying? right yeah so, uh, congratulations on that i wish Thank i could yeah, vote yeah, for yeah. you guys so, or if i find out how to vote let me know yeah you know i mean yeah, so we can yeah, make sure we vote for you yeah, you know I mean, because you guys deserve it. Again, your styles, man. Tell me about your styles. Yeah, you know I mean, like I hear a little bit of, I hear Cali, but I hear something else, man. When I hear you guys, I hear something else. You know, yeah, you I mean, I'm, so I'm originally from the East Coast, so yeah, right. when I listen, I hear a little like it's. I, for some reason, I get a little New York or something East Coast in your music, even though I know you guys aren't from the East Coast. Yeah. Right, right, I, right. I get, I get that a lot. You know, mm -hmm. um, people hear me and they originally, if they don't know me, they originally think I'm from the East Coast or something okay. like that because, you know, um, the the lyrical, the lyrical content and how right, I put right. together and you know how I flow with it. So they think I'm from the East Coast, but mm -hmm. I tell them, nah, man, this is this is all West Coast right here. Right, right. But it's good that you had that ability to to catch both sides with your music right. man. again oh, yeah. where are both of you from let everybody know where you guys are from originally real quick i'm a i'm a straight la boy man i'm from inglewood you know yeah I'm yeah born in, born in la raised in inglewood and groomed up in oxnard man you know? i heard that i heard that yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 uh i'm from the bay you know what i'm saying right right in the day go for a minute you know what i'm saying but my peoples i got peoples all across the country, so right, I be right. in NY. That might be where you hear some of my shit from. Right, right. My, my pops was born and raised in Bronx. I got people in Flatbush. Okay, Brooklyn. that's what that you explains know, it. That I, explains I, it. I, I, I knew it was something, man. Listen, but I heard you guys. 
when I heard you guys. Yeah, because my mom's from Memphis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I was born in Virginia. You right, know what right. I'm saying? So it's like I've been east to west, man, and I just put it all in there. You know what I mean? That's Listen. Gumbo yeah, yeah, Gumbo, Gumbo Maji. <laughs> Listen, when I heard y'all for the first time, y'all have to understand, I was on the patio. Yeah, I mean, so when I first heard y'all rhyme, I had to walk into the room because I was like, yo, that sound, that flavor is nice. It's different than what I was hearing all night. So I was like, yo, who is this? And then it was like, okay, yeah, they won. Look, before y'all even finish, y'all right, right. had already won in my book. So. That's what's up, man. That's and, what's and, up. And, and that's the dope thing about it is, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people are kind of doing the same thing. You know, and we didn't we didn't purposely try to do something different. Our minds just work a little different than what's regularly out here. You know right, right, so, right, right. You know how we feel is you know there's a lot of people walking up the steps to the first floor, but we already on the third looking down. Right, right, gotcha. right. Gotcha. It, it might gotcha. take them a minute to catch it, but when they do catch it, they're gonna be like, "Damn, that was okay." Yeah, that was hot. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What's some up. of your favorite, some of your favorite artists was ahead of their time. You know what I'm saying? We gotcha. feel like that, that's us. You know? Yeah, yeah I feel talk. you. I feel you. Hey man, talk about the name real quick. Just speak about the name and how it came about, and why is it with a K instead of a C? Okay. Well, first of all, it's with a K instead of a C for a distinctive difference. Okay. You know. Guys, after my own heart, man. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For a distinctive difference, right, you know? right, right. We but, gonna switch it up. Yeah, you know what I mean, that's what, that's what we do. We gonna mod it out. You dig what I'm saying? Right, that's right, right, right. right. That, that's what that is. And also, DM. Okay. You get some maji. You feel me? Okay. Okay. DM, okay. And, and everything we say and do got a little message in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna say something. We right. gonna say something. So and, and you know DM stands for a lot of stuff, direct message, DS right. and Maji, dope music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean so that's the wordplay. I like the word. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We're more than what you see. You know, oh, you, have I like see, that. you have to sit down, you have to sit down and actually listen. Right, you know right, saying? right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? More than meets the more eye. Than meets the eye bro. Hey, <laughs> and it's crazy that you talk like that because my catering company, my kitchen channel, all that stuff is conventional kitchen with a K. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know what I mean? Instead of a right. C anyway. That's why I wanted to see where you was at if you was on that same type of mindset, oh, creative sure. difference. I don't want nobody else to say they got conventional kitchens this way. I've already right. done my paperwork and done what I need to do. So if I see somebody using that conventional kitchen, I got a problem. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah, love yeah, the yeah, creative yeah. difference. Yeah. And real quick, you know, um, we was talking about Gumbo Maji. I don't yeah. call him Gumbo Maji for that reason, per take, you know what I'm saying, per yeah. se, but my boy cooks up, you know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? My, my, yeah. my boy, he cooks up, you know, he, he was That's on, uh, he was at the Master Chef and, and, and they almost snatched him by the back of his neck and snatched him in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to sit down and talk. That conventional kitchen shit. Hey, I'm always I'm always doing something right now. Though I got a, a event I'm doing in a couple of weeks. It's it's a um uh, a Black History Month celebration. They asking me to come in and do shrimp and shrimp shrimp and grits and waffles. Say it again. You said shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits and chicken and waffles. Somebody said something else. I was like, whoa, that's nah, nah. They 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 want me to just do a quick, yeah, you know I mean, a tutorial on how to make them both real quick. But it's I'm always doing something with conventional kitchen. Always, that's man. That's up, man. that's been my passion for 25 years. This music been there for about 10 or 15, but that cooking has been there right. for like 25. We gotta link up on that. That's man. life. That's life shit. Yeah, that's life shit. Yeah. Exactly. That young, bro. You we gotta saying? link up, man. I've we gotta link up. I was fucking like six years old. Yeah, like me, man. It's safe. You're cooking, bro. In the you know kitchen with like, pops. Watch your pops. Down south to the west coast. I put uh -huh. it all in there, baby. That's for yeah. sure. Ham hocks, what you want? You know what I'm saying? Want some greens? <laughs> and, you know what I'm and, saying? What and, you want? And, you want some and, new shit? And he Potato put, bombs and oh, shit like oh, that? I got yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so we definitely on the same page, man. Yeah, yeah. The king of greens right here. He's not okay. If you find somebody that make greens, bring them motherfuckers. Put, put that shit on your show. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? The Greens the, King. The green, let's see who the real king of Greens is. You know I mean? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm challenging anybody. Challenge. Anybody Challenge. Right now. I'm challenging anybody that think they cook some greens. You know hey, I mean? man. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm a greens cooker, but that's not my favorite thing to cook. I can get down with them, but that's not one of my favorites. I do like, for example, um, I try to take regular stuff and change it up a little bit. Like meatloaf, instead of using breadcrumbs in a meatloaf, I'll use pretzel. You know what I mean? Right, instead right, of right, breadcrumbs, right. ground up pretzel. Right, right. Things like that, because I always try to put a little spin on everything I do that's that just too. a little that different. Too. You know what I mean? That's, that's just what it's like your music is a little different than most of the stuff you hear out exactly. here. You know what exactly. I mean? Same situation, just something a little different. Because if you're not yourself and you're not different, man, how do you expect to stand out in this crowded world? Hey, 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 and let me tell you this. Blend in. I'm, I'm real particular about what I eat. I didn't have some bad experience with foreign food. So right. what I say I don't like, yeah. I mean I don't like. Yeah. Right, right. This dude right here, yeah. I, I think he might have took that as a challenge because Oh for sure. You know, you know he be having me he be having on, me eat bro. stuff that I don't even normally like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey on, man, bro. but it's good to try new things, you know what I mean? As a cook, you you, you hear a motherfucker say, Oh, I don't like greens. You are, oh really? Oh, I don't like that. Oh really? I'll throw some shit around. <laughs> you're you gonna be like, that's that? What the uh -huh. fuck? I didn't know I like that. Well, you like mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you sound like my you sound like my dad, man. We I remember this one story, right? We was kids and he made some rice and the rice got overcooked, so it looked like grits. So we was like, we ain't eating that. Next right. day, man. We had breakfast, we had bacon, we had this little spicy looking stuff and some eggs, man. We ate that stuff like it was nothing. And when we finished, my dad, we was like, yo, what was that? He was like, that was that damn rice your asses wouldn't eat last night. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I feel you on the cooking tip. Just changing yeah. stuff up, making things a little bit different. Hey, but let's talk back about you guys' project. Before we go any further, we want to... Do a quick shout out. We want to shout out to our management, you know, Jules ENT. Oh, what's yeah, up, Miss uh, Jules? I know she in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. hey she, she, she been working. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, man. She, hey, she, she does her job. So, you know, we definitely want to make sure we, we, we shout her out. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, you, what's up, Miss Jules? Here. How you doing? <laughs> she back there directing. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. supposed to do it, but I respect yeah. it, man. Again, man, having right. good people on your team. That's key. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I appreciate her so much for being patient with me through this process, for real. Hey, she like a Swiss yeah. Army knife, homie. I'm telling yeah, yeah. you. Real. Yeah. Hey, and that's what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to. She's a straight Swiss Army knife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Needle and, and thread, whatever you need. Hey, and I'm going to say, San Diego, if you know, you know. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Because everybody don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah. beyond. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Her name rings through a lot of circles. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, I think I saw Jules up in LA at the other event we did up there. We did an event up Nine there. Nine times out of ten, you did. I think you know, she was she up there with there. us. Yeah, yeah. One, thing, one thing about her too is she's big on supporting um, everybody else. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, so, yes, you know, yes, yes. There's That's a lot of times. Thing. There's a lot of times where we go to events that we have not. We're not even on, but she goes. You know, well, we go as right. a as a team to support. Uh, uh, those that are there, you know, what I'm support saying? the culture, supporting the culture. That's our, that's yeah, our, you, you know, got we, got, we got Gumbo Maj, we got the Swiss Army knife, you know what I'm saying? So, and the antidote, you yeah, know what I mean? Antidote. Antidote. Yeah. You hungry? Anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you, you can't open your soup can. We got the Swiss Army we got knife, right Swiss right Army knife now. <laughs> we're a one stop shop. You know hey, that's the way it's supposed to be, that's where it gotta be. You know, let's get back real quick. I want to ask you one, like, two more questions. Uh, we did the highs and lows. We talked about you guys being independent. We talked about some projects you're working on. Give all the information for those projects that you're working on so that people can go check your stuff out and things of that nature. Okay. Um, well, we're right now we're working on uh, our BICO series, the Breaking Case of Emergency series. Okay. Uh, volume one is already done. Volume two is is done we're finishing up uh all the packaging you know everything we want to do with it and then we're going to put that out and we're gotcha. already working on we're working on volume three and volume three is going to be 
it, it's gonna be bananas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's be bananas. Gonna be it's gonna be super. A lot of dope features. You know what I'm saying? Great, great. And, you had features on the other two? Are there features um, on the first two? On the, on the first one, we do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We got we got two we got brothers. two features on there. You know what I'm saying? Our bros. You know what I'm saying on that right. one. And then um, we got uh, volume two well, yeah. coming out on, on on volume one. We got our two brothers, uh, Champ the Great from Cincinnati, okay. one of Cincinnati's finest. And then we got our brother Shy Bully from Chicago, which okay. is if, if you anywhere from around. A, a thousand miles, you already know who he is. You gotcha. know, backpack team, you, uh, right? Right, right, backpack team, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. All that, all that. And, um, hey, I got a homie from Cincinnati as well. He a rapper, he out here, did go as well. His name is um AJB Go Get Him, but okay. he's from the same area, Cincinnati. Cincinnati got some good rappers coming yeah. out of here right yeah. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, believe it or not, man, I think it's good rap everywhere. I just think you got to be willing to. Open up your palate to different things, different yeah. different styles. You know what I mean? Like that's for me, about, I love you know it I mean? all. It's, all about, it's, that's all, what about, it's all about. It's all about how you deliver the package, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, UPS, FedEx, and Amazon all deliver the same packages, but some deliver it better than others. Yeah, so UPS you, gonna throw your shit on the porch. Yeah, right. <laughs> go, right. Shit from the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you exactly. know, you know, you know, a broken up package. You feel right, me? right, right. And we got a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You can find us on uh, YouTube, um, all the all the platforms. Uh, e I C O E Volume One. Okay. You gonna get us? You know what I mean? Direct message with a K. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you, you put that B I C O E, you in there? Yeah. All right. So for Facebook, Instagram, and everything is straight direct message. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Got you. Message. Definitely, we um, I'm definitely gonna make sure I start following you guys on. I think I did start following you on Facebook. I'm, I'm almost sure I did. I think I liked your page already on Facebook. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and for those of your people who haven't uh, who haven't got a taste of this gumbo just yet, you know, um, February 10th we're gonna be at um at Vibes for the thousand dollar contest. Okay, y'all going through that joint too? Y'all yeah, doing? Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about going to that show. If I can yeah, get, yeah. get free, you I'm know, think I'm gonna show that. Come on, slide through, check your boys out. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. You All know, right. it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of um, a, a lot of different artists there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know, you know our mind frame. We don't. We got tunnel vision when it comes to this thing. We don't even see nobody else. Right, we just, right. We just focus right. on what we do. We doing our thing. You know, yeah. we, we see them, but we don't see them. Right, right. Us. No, you ain't gonna stop what I'm doing over here. I'm gonna see you. You know, matter of fact, I'm hopefully see your ass in my rear view. No disrespect. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like we appreciate everybody and right. we like what they do, but right. it's a difference when it's a competition and and you know, not just like uh, uh, the show, but mm -hmm. the whole hip hop game is a competition. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. So right. This game, you know, I, I I I like you or fucks with you, but I hope to see you in my rear view. Hey man, ain't nothing wrong with it's, that. You know, that's nothing just wrong success with that. right there. Yeah. That's just success. And there's right. enough room for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Room for all of us. So is there anything else you want the world to know about you guys? What's up? Yes. Listen, they have their first video shield February 19th for their swimmy vid uh track. I just had to put that out there. I'm in the Where's that gonna be at? Um, it's kind of like a closed location, but we're gonna oh. have Fight clubs and low riders. I'm gonna just say that much. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, I'll be looking for it as soon as I see it. As soon as I see the link, I'm definitely posting it for you guys. Yeah, don't show. Definitely. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Quick, man. Don't, don't, be don't, be don't be surprised if you get a uh, message for a cameo or something like. That. Hey, man, it is what it is. You know, if I get that, I'm coming fresh. You know what yeah, I mean? Already. Don't be surprised. Oh, I'm yeah. coming yeah. fresh. Yeah. I'm coming with something hey, like this. Yeah, I mean. You feel me? Yeah. All be, our people don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you get a. Uh, hey him. man, whenever sure. I get, I'll be there for, to support you guys for sure. Listen, real quick, is there anything else you want the world to know about you guys? Anything else that you want to say to the to people that may view this? Well, for me, I, I would just say, you know, um, check out the music, but we're better in person. Mm. How? We love we love the stage. The stage is like our second home, and right. you know, like I said, we black out sometimes, and we we have fun up there. So 
We just want the people to come out and have fun with us. You know, come support sure. us. You know, uh, cop some of the merch. You know what I'm saying? And and right now the merch is 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 on uh or you know it's by order only. You know, we still okay. getting all that together. Where can um can they find the merch on your in on any of your websites or any of your um Not social media anymore. yet? Well, right now we still getting all that stuff together. You know? Okay, but I got it's you. in the design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I in got the design you. Mode right now. But right now, I feel you. Know, you. If, if, if you come out and, and and fuck with your boys, you know what I'm saying. We we, we can work something out. You know, off top. I got we you. love, we love personal. We we love being personal with people. Yeah, I got you. One more thing. Don't be scared. Nah, don't be don't scared. Be scared. <laughs> you know I mean? Hey, hey, I feel yeah. you, man. I feel yeah. you. You can't do a scared man can't do nothing. Can't nah. do shit scared. You <laughs> know scared, what I'm scared. Like, they say, like they say, you miss a a, a thousand per shot, a hundred percent of shots you don't take. Don't you know take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, it's that's scared. positive vibes right there, man. And I'm hoping that people that watch just take that positivity with them. Again, man, I appreciate you guys for sitting in with me for a couple minutes, giving me a little bit of feedback no. on what's going on with you. I hope right. to see you guys real soon, at least at one of these two events. I know it's going to be at the, either the Super Bowl event or at your event at Vibe or at your video shoot. Hopefully, I get an invite to the video shoot. Hey, don't hey, 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 you on the list, bro. You on the list. Hey, you on the list. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No. <laughs> But for sure, man, I appreciate y'all so much for taking the time to talk to me, man. Hope to see you guys again soon, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Appreciate it. Easy, bro. All right. I told him it was no rush. I was waiting for the drought. For the drought. So I could hit him with that good chest. Said he needed the word. No, I spit that shit. Told me give him a verse. That church I did. Told them little niggas you ain't got it in ya. Told them old niggas I'm taking it back to the beginning. So respect the game. I ain't really got it in me to be fucking with Lane. So don't speak my name.